this is Becky Legiro here with Stav of Hyperion. And these are our experts in outsourcing, technology, development, all sorts of good stuff. So Stav, tell me about the, the largest benefits for the online gambling industry when it comes to outsourcing their development. So basically, the main thing we see is the struggle of HR departments to scale in time. And now more than ever, the demand for new technologies is rising. All of the old companies have to reproduce their products, do new stuff, you know, and there's no time. They never manage to scale fast enough. This is where Hyperion comes into play. We can create a scalable solution and place a set of dedicated, high-talented team of developers to work as an extension. And we can add people much more like frequently than when you, when you compare it like to places like Malta, Sweden, or UK, where the competition for talent is just too fierce. Right, right. There is so much competition out there, and I know there's a lot of choices for operators these days. You can have proprietary software, or you can go with a third-party supplier. Um, tell me why proprietary software is um, a real differentiator when it comes to operators, and how Hyperion can help with that. Yeah, so very simply put, think about it. If you have a, a brand, and it's all the same games, all the same look, all the same features, all the same incentives, all the same bonuses, so what differentiates you from anyone else who could just grab a license? This is why you see uh, some people, except for like the big uh, groups, they take their ways, like the heavy metal casino, or they try to differentiate, they try to create front-end technologies that go on top of the traditional like game or games that, that they, they offer, or the wallet system, and they just make something new. You know, they give prizes that money can't buy, like uh, a guitar signed by, uh, by Ozzy Osbourne. No, so the, but these kind of systems that are on top of the brands that differentiate them has to be developed somewhere. And usually this is where they take the edge uh, with companies like us. And what about when it comes to how much that will cost? I know that of course everyone's worried about their, their budgets these days. Yeah. Um, can you compare what it will cost to do with a company like yours versus a third party supplier? Yeah, so we can compare and also not compare because for example, the turnover rates of a good developer in London is insane. Yeah. They can move uh, workplaces quite often just for a slight change in money which is makes it one big problem this is the same problem in Malta in Sweden you just simply don't have enough good developers and then all in all the salaries and all the overheads everything stacks up to quite high costs where in Ukraine where our development center is you can actually get very good same level talent but in significantly more cost-effective uh, approach so it's a win-win very good, we like win-wins. Um, Stav, we know that there's a lot of new technology out there, innovations happening. How can your organization, and what, what are your thoughts on how the online gambling industry can use this technology to propel their business forward? So I think we see a shift now in the type of games that are getting into the market. I think we are in the end era of the slot machine as we know it. So right now we still see people struggle and making more slot machines and more slot machines. <laughs> but the audience of the slot machine is dying out and a new generation is coming up. My belief is that people, the psychology of gambling will still exist in a human being. Everybody is willing to gamble on something to a certain extent, in the right moment, with the right offer, with the right type of game. So I think the types of games that have to be produced needs to shift. And this is where we see the companies now taking, shifting gears into, you know, getting it on, getting these new games out there, testing what can work, how can you appeal to this young audience? Instead of just thinking, well, try to make more slot machines, that's not going to work. That's what, that's what we see now. Okay, when it comes to strategy, what's your biggest piece of advice for operators on how to keep on top of the new tech and avoid you know, staying with their old business plan? Yeah, so invest in tech, invest in tech fast. If you see that your HR unit is already failing for a long time, stop struggling with it or thinking that's reality. The worst thing you can do is to say, well, my competitors are probably as slow as I am. Instead, look for the solutions, how to move forward. And it's something that the bigger companies are facing these issues because of politics, you know, complex uh, organizational structures. And what we want to make sure is to open the door for them for scaling. That's what Iberian can do. We can set up these talents very fast for them and they can start focusing, working on their new projects instead of trying to focus and being stubborn on this old in-house concept where everyone's going to stay in-house. So you're just going to have too much of a small team than being able to deal with all of this demand, you know? So it's time to move forward. That's my advice. Wonderful, Sabla. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. This was a great interview. I agree with you. And this is Becky Legiro. Thank you for watching calvinair.com.